Hi, and welcome back to another Magic of Ox tutorial. In this one, we will cover the pattern brush and what it does. The first usefulness of the pattern brush is duplication. So let's say you create this intricate object and you want to duplicate this many times into another scene. You can go ahead and save this. I'm just going to call this cube object and put it in a place you know where you can reference it later. So let's say you want to recall that object you created and duplicate it into a new scene. Just over here on Projects tab, click on the star icon, find where you saved it. In this case, I called it cube object. And then on the left side and on the brush, click the star icon again and then attach. You can now plop the pattern down multiple times. So if I want to rotate this, I can use the plus and minus keys. I can also use uh, zero and nine keys to um, rotate it on the X and Y, I believe. And so, and you can just recall here, using the page up and page down keys, you can elevate the pattern up or down, depending on your liking. Each keystroke corresponds to one voxel in height. So if I press one time and page up, it moves up one voxel, page down, one voxel downwards. You can also use the pattern brush to create brushes and put them over objects in a scene. For instance, if I wanted to put a brick texture over this cube, I could. Just go over to the pattern brush and you can see I created this simple brick texture and over here make sure the star icon is selected under brush and instead of attach you go to paint and you can see the brick texture is facing it's not facing the right direction I don't want to put it up here I want to put it right here so using the 0 and 9 keys you can rotate the brick texture pattern to correspond to where you want it and then left click and you can see it places it right there I could do the same on this side like so and now I can color this if I wanted to by using the eyedropper tool and having the same palette color selected you can click on this and change this to whatever you want and like that you can create simple brick textures rather than manually having to create them for every scene you make you can just create a simple brush for it and use the pattern tool to create the texture lastly you can use the pattern brush to quickly decorate the terrain to make it look semi-realistic in a reasonable amount of time. This technique was taken from a person named Shuangsh, who is a very good magical voxel artist, and I'll put a link in the description below to his Twitter so you can follow him and check out his artwork. With that said, go ahead and find a suitable brush that you created to use as a pattern. Over here I have a tree brush which Shuang um, gave me to use as courtesy. And just pick a few colors that you want for the mountain. We are going to separate this mountain from the water. So just select everything but the mountain and put it to one side. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Control c to copy and um, just move this to one side like that and just delete this and then we can hide these clouds put them on a different layer like that and hide it so all we have now is this mountain with the pattern brush selected 
and the suitable tree brush or whatever brush you want to use for decorating the terrain. Select it in the pattern section here. Go ahead and start just color painting it in, having this selected. Using the 0 and 9 keys on your keyboard, you can just rotate the brush just so you can get some coverage. And then using the eyedropper tool where you can select, just select the color, control C, delete, and in the world editor view, just hit control V and then drag it out. And we're just gonna do this a few more times for the colors we have here. Okay, once you have all that done, you can go ahead and select all of it. And over here in World Editor view, where you can see all this, there should be a drop down here for a line. We're going to go ahead and align this. Whoops, actually select all of them first. And hit the align tool. And just find the one that puts them all together. And now you can see all the objects are put into one section and if we take a look you can see we have this basic um, texturing for our mountain here that looks a bit more realistic and obviously you can change this around so if you select all the um, selected objects just by clicking and dragging out around the cube and hit you it combines everything into one object so now you can easily edit it so let's say for instance this is snow you can change this to something else to be a bit more realistic because usually snow is in higher elevations but in this case it's snow down here you can change this to whatever color you want with that you have a quick way to create texturing on selected voxel objects using the pattern brush as we did here with this terrain. That concludes it with this pattern brush tutorial. I will see you in the next one and thanks for watching.